Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit. And we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on um, with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? All right, Cancer. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. So of course it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. Thank you. All right, we'll start with some oracles here, Cancer. Okay? And babe, if you want to use mine, or they're not even mine, they're yours. But of the headphones, you can. Thank you. Cause they, I know they're charged, and I haven't used them in a while, so and they should be in the basket. Okay. Uh, the one right here. Yeah. In there. Okay. All right, cross watcher. You're going through a lot. Let's let's keep it clean here. Let's clean it up. Hold on. Ooh. Ah. All right, Cancer. Hold on. I don't know what's going on with who you're dealing with, but uh, they're talking shit about you. That's for damn sure. If your ears are burning and ringing, well, there's that. Yeah, and they may not sit down and shut the hell up. They may... Bah, 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 bah. Yikes, they're festering. All right, we got forgiveness in reversed. Gossip in reversed. Bittersweet in reversed. Impartiality reversed. Complacency reversed. So, it's like they want justice and balance with you. They want to have things go their way, but with you. But not really with you, you see go their way for them they don't forgive you one damn bit if anything they're more spiteful hateful spitful rageful uh, gossipy snakes they can't stop talking shit about you okay or about others too they're so bitter about you but yet they want things to be unless unless justice came in to smack them well there's that but it's like then they want to have things balanced and then they don't want to shut the hell up they just want to sit there and fester and like you know feel more and get all yeah yeah and not deal with anything here cancer so I don't know. I don't care. And I'm sure, Cancer, you don't give a shit either. Look, pissy Aries again. You just have who you're dealing with. If they, pop, if they pop out, I'll let you know. But let's see what's going on, on here, Cancer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what's going on here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. That's all I need. Crosswatcher, you don't get extra cards for being a gossipy bitch to cancer. <laughs> so, <laughs> but <laughs> I love making him laugh. Didn't I just say this yesterday to you? Why <laughs> cancer, why with you every time? It's like, I... Well, what's weird is I had to tell cancer the same thing today. Really? Like, no, it gave me more than I needed. More than asked oh cancer what's going on <laughs> sorry guys the message is a message okay you know if i if i sat here and i let every person slap through all the 20 cards they want the readings will be like an hour long and you guys don't need that much information none of you even fucking run with it and actually apply it to your lives yet because you can't even believe this shit's accurate and coming out and it's scaring you i know i scared you with my voodoo cards but it's not voodoo it's tarot and six years into studying it you do something repeatedly every day, you're going to get fucking good. You brush your teeth every day, they're going to be pearly white, aren't they? You floss, wash your ass, what a clean butt, huh? <laughs> He's laughing more. He's trying not to laugh. You can't hear him, but I... <laughs> you get the message here. But the message isn't for you today, Cancer. It's for who you're dealing with, clearly. And they're still going to keep lying to you at the end of this day, by the way, here. Or at the end of the day, damn, okay, at the end of the day, they're still going to keep lying, but at the end of this reading. So this is someone that chooses to be emotionally connected to you. They choose to be here with you. And then just kidding, they're like, nope, cancer's a burden. I'm going to drop it. And then they're like, well, fuck, I'm so confused and I don't know what the hell's going on. I can't even believe that. And then they're like, I don't know, delusional. I don't know, freaking out. Then they're hissy pissy. They don't want to do anything. One, it's kind of like this. Either they're just going to stay stuck in their own ways. Two, it could be that um, they really are insecure. Three, like with you for some reason. Ooh, excuse me. Three, they have no passion towards you or they're just going to try to use lust. But either or, excuse me. God, who's drinking? And then at the end, they're like, just kidding. I'm just going to lie about everything and not say shit or do shit to cancer. I'm like, okay. Whatever makes it easier for me. 
You know what I mean? All right, Cancer. Let's see this. what's going on here with this person. Well, they light up when it comes to stability and money. There they are sitting there. Do they work on their own? Are they independent? Like you have a job, they have a job, you guys live together. I don't know. It's like there they are. Okay, they're willing to be long-term with you with that when it comes to money and security. Okay, and that's why they're there with you. Okay, so they're just there for you for the security and the, and the money. And the, uh, this is a broken record. My husband told you this, but okay. And now they don't really know what to do. They're juggling a lot. <laughs> Um, but they're trying to organize and balance so much that to the point where they just said, fuck it, I'm so burdened with cancer. Let me just drop it all. Well, that's good. Ah, and this is where we, <laughs> I mean, cross watcher, what the fuck are you thinking here? You really think that you're going to understand the tarot? Do you even read? If you do, well, read better. And if you don't, you can't understand divination when you're not about that life. Don't be about it. You know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing, cancer, their head is this big, not because they're egotistical, but probably it's swelled up with so much information that they don't know what the fuck is real and what isn't. So because they've come to these readings constantly to get shit out on you or about you or whatever the hell, and then to spy on you, creep on you, lurk on you, obsess about you, I don't know if this is an ex, I don't know. They lost themselves trying to figure shit out about you. <laughs> like completely lost themselves. They got all obsessive and fanatic and very like, oh my God, I don't know. And they're trying to get information over their fucking head. And that's why they're... I don't even know. Lost? Confused? Delusional? Do they need to go to the psych ward? Maybe. I don't know. And so what they're trying to... Okay, so now they're investing with you the right way. Now they want to actually do this the right way with you. But then they don't. That's when they just sit there and don't want to do anything. Or they're doing it out of their own greed to get more in, uh, money, finances, investments out of you. Or they're just insecure and then they just don't do anything either way. So don't know here, Cancer. You're dealing with a buffoon. Oh, and that's the lie. The third party. Oh, so they are fucking around with someone else. And that's why they're pissed off because basically it's this cancer. Are you going to trust me and the information I'm giving you? Or are you just going to sit there and let this person sleep with whoever and whatever the fuck and then just kiss your mouth? Oh, that's nasty. Ugh. Get go, go get tested. Make sure. Be careful. That's nasty. Because what they're lying and what they're going to keep lying to you about is that they are cheating on you for some of you. Others of you, what they're lying about is that they're going to, I guess, if you know like their personal addictive problems, they're... They, they're still drinking and smoking and whatever the hell. Um, for others of you, they're going to try to force a reunion onto you that you're not ready for or happy about with like friends or family or loved ones or whatever. Just to talk shit and gossip. Or it's that they're talking shit about you to everyone else and that's what they're lying to you. Like, no, I'm not. No, I love you. It's like, yeah, sure. So it's up to you, Cancer, who you want to believe. The devil you sleep with or just, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think of me, so I'll let you decide what you think of me, but or just me, you know what I mean? Telling you this information. Because they're starting some fuckery, they're ending it with some fuckery, and they don't care and they're gonna lie to you. So and if this is friend groups, ah, my special circles. <laughs> if this is Tarot Land, bitches, and if it's the cup bitch, well, yeah, they fucked you up too. But they're gonna lie to you about it to get you all confused to make you think that I'm the one who's crazy. But let's see, how many years has it been since you've tried to fucking come over here? Mm hmm? Exactly. And you obviously know, I've just been sitting here chilling, doing my own thing. So, that's specific for you tarot land bitches. The ones you are in a gang stock group with, they're doing the same shit to you. So be careful. Believe me or don't. I'm not in none of that shit. Y'all, you bitches are fucking weak trying to make your little gay ass covens. Doesn't work. That's what I got for you all. Um, let's see. We got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, like I said here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Bye.